see the recurrence relation. So a recurrence relation is an equation that recursively defines a sequence or multidimensional array of values once one or more initial terms are given. So it means it uh, going to it is going to generate the new sequence values from the given previous set of values. So here it is called linear because each term of this sequence is a linear function of the earlier terms in the sequence that is the degree is 1. So the general form uh, examples here a0, a1, a2 are given then an equals to an plus minus 1 plus 2 an minus 2 plus 3 an minus 3. Here the degree is 3. Now the general form of a linear recurrence relation with constant coefficient will be of the form c c n a n plus c a n minus 1 a n minus 1 plus c n minus 2 a n minus 2 plus c n minus 3 a n minus 3 so on will be equal to f of n and these linear recurrences recurrence relation or recurrences are classified as a homogeneous and non-homogeneous recurrence relation based on this f of n value. So homogeneous if the right hand side of the function is equal to 0 and non-homogeneous when the right hand side is not equal to 0 that is f of n is not equal to 0. So a linear recurrence uh, homogeneous recurrence relation of degree k with constant coefficient is a recurrence relation of the form a n equals to c1 a n minus 1 c2 a n minus 2 plus c n c k a n minus k where c1 c2 c k are the real numbers and uh, c k is not equal to 0. So degree k this a n minus k and c k must not be 0. If it is 0 then it is of degree n minus k minus 1. That is why c k should not be 0 is an expressed in terms of the previous k terms of the sequence. So it is degree is k. This recurrence includes k initial condition because it is depending on k previous term it has to be given that uh, first k initial terms have to be given or any k terms have to be given. So now determine if the following recurrence relations are linear homogeneous recurrence relations with constant coefficients or not. So here pn equals to some constant into pn minus 1. So if you transfer this to the left hand side then it will be right hand side will be 0. So it is a linear homogeneous recurrence relation of degree 1. So here you can observe a n minus 2 square. So it is not linear because the power is 2. Linear means power has to be 1. Next f n equals to f n minus 1 plus f n minus 2. It is linear and the degree is 2 because f n is dependent on its previous two terms. Next h n equals to 2 h n minus 1 plus 1. So here if you transfer this on to the left hand side you will get h n minus 2 h n minus 1 equals to 1. And uh, you can see that f of n is 1. It is not 0. So therefore it is a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. Next is an equals to an minus 6. So it is dependent on the 6th previous term. So its degree is 6 and it is homogeneous. bn equals to n into bn minus 1. So here it is linear but it is not with the constant coefficient. It is not a constant coefficient. So you can observe here it is 2 here 1.1 here it is n. It is a variable. So it is not uh, linear recurrence relation with constant coefficient. It is linear and it is first order but it is not uh, with constant coefficient. So now we will see the first order linear homogeneous recurrence relations uh, and here the general form here is an plus 1 equals to dan or it may be like an equals to dan minus 1. Any one can be done. So here nth plus 1th term is obtained by using the nth term its previous term where n is greater than or equal to 0 and d is a constant. So here we have considered with constant coefficient so where d is a constant. So the general solution of this first order linear homogeneous recurrence relation which is a n plus 1 equals to d a n is a 0 equals to a and n greater than or equal to 0 has the unique solution which is given by a n equals to a into d raised to n that is nth term is obtained by raising d n 
d raised to n multiplied by the constant a which is a0. <coughs> now, the general first order linear recurrence relation with constant coefficient has the form a n plus 1 plus c a n equals to f of n. So, if this f of n is 0, it is homogeneous, otherwise it is non-homogeneous. That's what here it is given. So, now coming to the problems, find the recurrence relation for the following sequences. To 10, 50. So, you can observe 2 into 5, 10, 10 into 5, 50, 50 into 5, 250. So, an equals to 5 an minus 1, where n is greater than or equal to 0 and a0 equals to 2. Here, you can observe d is a constant which is 5 here. So, therefore, the solution is a0 which is 2 into d raised to n. d is in this case is 5. So, it is 2 into 5 raised to n with n greater than or equal to 1. Next one, 6 minus 18. 54 minus 6, 162. So, 6 into minus 3, minus 18 into minus 3 is plus 54. So, here the answer is the recurrence relation will be an equals to minus 3 into an minus 1, n greater than or equal to 1 with a0 equals to 1. Therefore, the solution will be a0 which is 6 multiplied by d is nothing but minus 3 in this case d raised to n that is minus 3 raised to n with n greater than or equal to 1. Next you have to find the common difference by dividing the uh, this first term second term by first term or third term by its previous term. So you can observe that the division of uh, 74 by 5 divided by 7, 4, 14 by 5 divided by 7 is equal to 2 by 5. Therefore, an equals to 2 by 5, an minus 1, n greater than or equal to 1 with a0 equal to 7. Therefore, the solution is 7 into 2 by 5 raised to n. So, we will stop and continue in the next video. Thank you.